What the hell? Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought Adrian died. Because <laughs> I didn't see Adrian in his bed. What the f***? Adrian Balboa? Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Mary and today I'm going to be watching Rocky Balboa aka Rocky 6. I know this film was released in 2006 and Rocky's a lot older in this film. Other than that I haven't been spoiled in the comment section below with all of the Rocky movie reactions I've been posting so far so thank you so much for you know not spoiling it for me. I'm going into this blind but I'm excited to see Rocky potentially as a trainer because he's older now. I'm expecting him to be in the more mentor side of things like he did with Tommy Gunn in the last film except probably more established as a trainer perhaps. That's what I'm expecting expecting very excited to see Rocky and Adrian and his son all grown up as well very very excited to see what their lives have been like since the last film which was obviously in the 90s so a lot of time has gone by this film is actually shorter than Rocky 5 but it's rated higher on IMDb I haven't looked into the synopsis at all but I do know that it is rated higher and it has been released quite some time after the Rocky 5 movie I kind of get it because not a lot of people liked Rocky V so maybe they just took the time to really just finesse the script and the story and really make this one good. Before we get into it I want to remind you guys about the uncut version that's going to be over on Patreon. There's also early access bloopers and everything like that over on Patreon. For the uncut version you just need a copy of the film yourself because there is a timer and then we can watch the movie along at the same time. Down below in the description bar you can also find all my social media handles Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Discord, TikTok, Facebook. You can also find my two other channels my vlog channel and my gaming channel. With all of that said I think we're ready to jump into to Rocky Balboa. This crowd does nothing to hide its anger over this latest debacle. Why are they angry this over it? They're actually helping the undefeated heavyweight Jesus. champion of the world with ice. <laughs> also, the quality is so good. You can tell a lot of years has gone by. The turtles. So cute that he still has turtles. Whoa. He looks older. Oh. Still working out, I see. It's getting harder though for him. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought Adrian died because <laughs> I didn't see Adrian in his bed. What the f? Adrian Balboa? Bro, what? Are you kidding me? She had an off screen death? Yeah, not fast enough. Paulie's older too. What? What the f- Oh, I feel shit. Oh my god. What a start. This is really fucked up. A film without Adrian and Rocky's love? In the last film, in my review, I said, if anything happens to Adrian and Rocky's love, I'm gonna throw punches. Hey, how you doing? Hey. That's his son, maybe? Not I can't. I got plans, a few of the guys. It's What's with this son? Ooh, it's, it's not your lab. I'll change my plans for tonight. Well, that'd be great. That's nice. And he gets to see his son. Honestly, in the last film, I thought maybe yeah. his son would follow into his footsteps and be a boxer too. But he's got a decent job. He's using his brains just like Adrian wanted him to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What the fuck was that off screen death shit? Actually, it's better this way because my heart would have bursted seeing her die, seeing him emotional about it. I'm an empath. Oh, we're at the markets now. He's doing regular things. I think he's got a shop or something. Adrian's restaurant. Oh, stop. He's named the restaurant after her. Oh God, no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. It's all right, Mary. You know, if you keep rubbing that olive oil in your stomach, then your kids could be born very strong. <laughs> you can tell he's Italian. <laughs> Jose, can you make something special for my kid who's coming tonight? Just something special. I heard the best sound that I ever heard in my life. The bell. The right, bell. The bell. And I, when Mickey leans into my ear and says, come on. Get out there and fight this guy hard, you bum. Yeah. You gotta be Mickey. first. You gotta be first. If I could, 
I would. I would. They've heard this story. His son didn't come. Or at least he's late. Hello, Adrian's. Tell him you can't make it. Yeah, I'll give him the message. Wow. Voice in my head over and over again. I just dug down and before you know it's really living in the past. Zadie, I'll take a main check. Okay. Aww. It's the last thing he has of Adrian. Isn't this where she used to work? Oh, stop. Mm. How does Paulie get to live and Adrian dies? What bullshit is that? Mm. Where she used to live. I remember when she was standing there and all I wanted her to do was trust me. Stop. You're done. Jesus, give him a second, Paulie. Well, I'm glad they tore this ice rink down. Where they had their first day, everything is falling apart. And I got her arm through that coat I could feel. You said the same thing last year, Rock. How long has she been gone? Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm going to watch a movie without her. You treated her good. You had the good times. I treated her bad. I don't <laughs> have to think about this. <laughs> she always loved you, Polly. <sighs> Me! Why do they do this every single fucking movie? Every single one. Without fail. 16 minutes into the movie. I'm already in tears. Hey, isn't this where he had the fight with Tommy? How did she die? Can I know that at least? One, two, three, four, five people in this tavern. I read about your wife's passing a few years back. Oh. Yeah, it was a woman kids. <laughs> what the? I always heard she was a nice person. Woman <laughs> We met a long time ago. When I was a kid, you walked me home. Oh. I did. Oh, that kid. Oh, my goodness. Are you little Marie that used to hang out at that atomic bogey shop? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and I turned around and said, screw you. <laughs> I didn't say that. Yeah, you did. She did. Yes, she did. <laughs> well, then give him his drink then. I ain't stopping you. So. Jeez. The f it's her problem. And me and my friends were right there and there. You think you think you could buy us around? What? Okay. If you don't it's be playing fool for that guy, right? A fool? Yeah. I love his advice. You don't think you're a big shot now? You ain't nothing. All right, settle down. The heck is wrong with people? You live around here? About eight blocks from here. Walk you home? Eight blocks. Would you need a lift? Right. Or that. I mean, he has a car now. Oh, I don't. No, no, I don't want her to be with him. No. Nope. Oh, you tough guy. What's the matter? You can't buy around. Oh my God! Such cringe behavior. Would not want to work there. Punch drunk. You ain't no. She's like literally wearing pajamas. Are they like on meth? What is wrong with them? What are you doing? Get oh. out! It's all right. No, little Marie. It ain't all right. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna punch him or talk to him. Just maybe talk to him. You get inside. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, shoot. What do you say? I, I, I'm sorry. I'm All right. sorry. I'm sorry. Get a job. <laughs> get a job. <laughs> hey, that was handled well, I think. Didn't have to hurt anyone. That guy sends his apologies. <laughs> and I heard these buildings like 100, 150 years old. So, I mean, if I was 150 years old, I'd be falling apart too. So, <laughs> it's okay, building. <laughs> that light work? <laughs> he just Thank cracks you. me Thank up. You. <laughs> You know, he sort of resembles you. He's got that, you know, big Irish hair. Yeah, it's the other one. Really? His father was from Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica. okay. That Jamaica. makes sense. Uh, thanks again for the ride and um, everything else. She grew up sweet. Maybe she took his hey, advice. Steph, I got this uh, place, this restaurant, nice little eatery. Going to give him a job? Sometimes I feel like a kangaroo all the time. It'll be great, free. Oh, you know. that's sweet. He's such a sweet man. I can't with him. I'm just so sad he's lost his Adrian. Get through that, you find the only kind of respect that matters in this damn world. Self-respect. Martin's the new Mickey. <laughs> you can give me some of that money you got. You know I like you, Martin, but not that much. <laughs> <laughs> but not that much to give me your money. Aha. <laughs> Sirs, I don't know if that's all right or not, so. Well, what's he doing down there? I don't know, that's your friend. What you doing downstairs? Let me do some dishes. I feel better. Oh, poor, cool. you're my guest. Don't make me fight you again. Last time you got that in. <laughs> Larry, you just didn't ask me to cook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. They came. Somebody told me 
You had a boyfriend who looked like a girlfriend. This might like one of my favorite songs, dude. If two athletes from different eras could actually compete against one another, who would come out on top? True. It's a good question. This week, we feed our facts into the computer. They will weigh in on who they think will reign. You know, his son still cares. Not only does Rocky win, but he wins knockout. Yeah. Well, <laughs> everyone here, they're all from Philly. They fully support that. Has fought cream puffs, so we really don't know what he's made of. Cream puffs. Ouch. Oh, this is an AI match. That's crazy. Oh, shit. Rocky. This is actually very, very cool. I didn't know something like this existed. Oh, wow. He can't fight old Rocky, but what if he's like, oh, I want to fight his son? Why are you being so nice? Hmm. Wife, she's gone. But she ain't, you know what I mean? No, oh. I wasn't thinking that far. <laughs> I don't know you nothing, but why you gotta owe something to get yo? Yikes. <laughs> exactly. Why can't people just be nice? I think hanging out with your kid would be nice. What do you think? I think that'd be nice. Aw, because he can't hang out with his own kid. The little Marie. Gentleman. Let there be light. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he said that. My wife's gone, but she's not really. <laughs> I love that. How about this one? That's hey, a big boy. Oh, hell? Yeah, why not? Oh, hell no. That is one ugly dog, man. That's why you should get it. He's doing a lot. He ain't wasting no energy. Because he's dead. Poor guy. Poor little dog. He's so cute. Every guy should at one time try to name an animal something. Fleabag. Fleabag? Catch. Punch. How was that? Punchy. Yeah, I don't punchy. really like that name either. I like it, you know? For real? Punchy it doesn't look like a punchy. All right, punchy. You ready to be bailed out, my friend? That's and nice. Ooh. Exposing him to art and history. <laughs> um, Rocky? Paulie's here. Come on, we're about to serve today's special. Italian food cooked up by a bunch of Mexicans ain't so special, Rocky. <laughs> What an ugly dog. Oh my gosh. Hey, that stuff back there is pretty cool. Oh, you like that? Yeah, man. Steps is a good kid. Who's the criminal? What the f I the silverware. Jesus Christ. Man, Bully is such an ass. He's just gotten worse with age. Last week, Rocky Balboa won See? That's the cartoon fight. <laughs> cartoon oh, fight, yeah. AI fight. People who think an old school athlete like Balboa could actually be better. So get therapy, will you? You need therapy. You know, he owns a little restaurant in South Philly. What's his specialty? Pounded chicken. I mean, he did pound meat to practice for a little while there. Hey, hey, cheer up. Free advertisement. Come on, meet house calls. All PR is good PR. <laughs> I think I want to, like, do something. Like what? Fight. Fight. That's just ego talking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, face reality. It's a different world now. Yeah, I'm with the son. I really don't know what you want from me. Why is his son like this? Time is it's going to catch up to all of us. <laughs> I mean, that's nice, but the fact that he had to come to outside his apartment just to talk to him. You're mad because they took down your statue. They took it down? Oh. Just hang a sign around your neck saying, punch me, five dollars, you make big money. <laughs> <laughs> what? You mad because Adrian left you? She didn't leave, Paul. She died. Yeah. Okay, okay. I just never knew it was supposed to be this hard. It wasn't supposed to be like this, Paul, you know? I don't like to see him so alone like this. He's so alone, his kid hardly talks to him. He doesn't have Adrian. He can't fight. Of course, he's living in the past. All he has is his good memories. For the issuance of a discretionary professional boxing license. Far Due out. He's actually Balboa, going ahead. Welcome battery of tests to which you've been subjected. You've passed these tests with flying colors. What about his brain damage? This commission cannot recommend you for a license. Good. And we have to deny your request for a license at this time. At this time, he's never going to get a license. He's only going to get older. What did you think, dude? What did you think? Yo, don't I got some rights? That's the Bill of Rights. <laughs> yeah, the Bill of Rights. Don't say something about going after what makes you happy. No, that's the pursuit of happiness. <laughs> What's your point? The point is, I mean, maybe some of you guys got something you never finished, something you really want to do, something you never said to somebody, something. Aww. And it ain't nobody's right to say no after you earn the right to be where you want to be and do what you want to do. Damn. The only thing I'm asking you guys to leave on the table 
is what's right. I still think it's going to be a no. Like, this is an official board. Front row. Front row. That is so Alboa great. passes the test? Wow. Damn, he makes some good speeches then. Nobody cares. You're not making heavyweight championship money. Is he going to try and fight line, this guy? You, you want me to fight a guy that I can beat with both hands tied behind my back. Okay. Can... But that's not what it's about. It's about making money. They're just businessmen. It's always money. about the money and the publicity. Bummers out there. Nobody cares about that. They There's really no love that word. It has been never going to be world. You want to call nostalgia, whatever the hell you want. But people can relate to that stuff. True. For you, not for me, for you. For you. People don't like you no more. Now. Everybody knows you could kick this old man's ass but you don't so they say mason dixon's got compassion yeah don't kill him i don't know if i want him to fight such a young dude the newest world champion yeah how you doing hey what a surprise no uh, you, you want to take a little walk or something? uh yeah yeah it's all nice right out. that's nice punchy yeah well actually you can come up with a name i think that's disrespectful <laughs> oh no no it's, what do you think about coming over to the restaurant for work it's better than the bar she works at find 10 better people 100 better people for this job give it a try why doesn't she just yeah, try it out know. her son maybe i would want to leave Yo, that tavern she works at dancing? has it been a while why are you asking me that because you dance around all these problems you might as well come and dance with me right? <laughs> <laughs> that's a great line that is a great line come on be nice all right adria <laughs> Is the meat? Is he gonna punch it? It's just crazy that he's been working here for so long. Oh, have they let him go? Now Paulie needs a job. <laughs> he's distraught. Oh, she's there. Excuse me. Deliveries are in the back. Oh, deliveries. Do you have a reservation? Do I look like a freaking Indian? <laughs> what the heck? He's so rude. No, no, he's just a relative. <laughs> a relative. What happened to your eye? I hit it. Why? Needed to? He's drunk. I retired. Retired, yeah, okay. So when they start giving retiring people meat instead of watches, Polly. You don't need a watch. What's your answer? Oh my god. I got a watch! Does he have to watch. flip out all the time? Yo, Polly! I got a watch! It's like you you're a crazy person I right now. God. Everyone's like, what the fuck? <laughs> You're gonna do all right, Rocco. How do you know that? The stuff in the basement. <laughs> well, he's got so many issues. Rock is so patient with him. We have the promotional contract for Mason Dixon. Who's a big fan, by the way? Really? Not George really. Fighting again. He thought, why not try to work something out? He sure. didn't. I was thinking more on a, like, local. You know what I mean? Not yeah. a good idea. And here's something I think you like. We're gonna donate a portion of the gate to charity. Well, that's always nice. Right. <laughs> Oh, these people. I'm gonna go over there. You guys can order something. What do you recommend? It's all edible. <laughs> Imagine Dixon met this bastard in his prime. They'd kill him. They kill him. No, I don't think so. Rocky would kill him, if anything. I didn't think this was gonna come along. But this is what you wanted, right? You need like someone to talk, talk to. Look, I know I usually don't say a lot. Like Adrian Listen, from the gonna, beginning. You've got this opportunity, so do it. And it doesn't matter how this looks to other people. I guess my opinion doesn't matter either. I don't think he should do it. Fighters fight. You're not gonna punch me, right? <laughs> I think it's nice that he has someone to talk to, if anything. The brainchild of Mason Dixon to honor past heavyweight champions. This is uh, weird. Fought in their 50s, often with disastrous results. Yeah. Puncher always has a chance. Two Gevers. Hey, and Steps is there too. Bully's there too. The brass has labeled you a Balboasaurus. Because <laughs> he's a dinosaur. That's rude. Sport in enough trouble without these circus events. Next question. Next question. Like a popularity is in doubt. What's the upside? Doubt. Upside. He needs to chill. I mean, I get pissed. This guy get hurt. See you at the fight. He doesn't seem very respectful. His management was like, "This guy loves you." Big fat lie. Finally, I hope he tells him not to do it. How you doing? How you doing? I could make some money on this endorsements. Absolutely, do that. 
He's so chill with everything. People see me, but they think of you. Now with all this going on, this is gonna be worse than ever. Selfish. Short. Well, my last name? That's the reason I got a decent job. The reason why people even it bother you that that people are making you out to be a joke, and that I'm gonna be included in that? Shit, dude. You're really making this more about yourself. But somewhere along the line. You changed. You stopped yes. being you. Let yes. people stick a f but it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. Yes. Moving forward. He gives That's how great speeches, dude. Now, if you know what you're worth, the cowards do that, and that ain't you. You're better than that. Yes, Rocky. Until you start believing in yourself, you ain't gonna have a life. Very, very wise words, and I think he needed to hear that. Robert's been a bit lost. That much is certain. Sheesh, though, that was intense still here i love that he has a chair that he just fits into a tree because he's a regular i wonder if it was breast cancer or cervical cancer or something else yeah those are beautiful yeah that's nice i left i quit damn right now i'd rather be with you oh be there for him while he trains still wears his ring as well it's There's really no sweet going down. knees can't take the pound so hard running is out now. <laughs> and you've got calcium. God damn. It's on iron, pile driving punches that will have to hurt so much they'll rattle his ass. <laughs> oh, shit. Every time you hit... Yeah. Oh. This is wild seeing him train as an older dude. So much different now because... This is more relatable to me personally. I relate to the struggle. <laughs> In this montage, <laughs> like in all the other montages, I'm like, yeah, that's really hard. How's he doing that? Here I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'd be doing that. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, the eggs again. Ugh. It's getting a little easier for him, though, now. <gasps> oh, God damn. Oh, the dog's so cute. Nice. Holy crap. <laughs> He's got a big team supporting him. The steps. Getting ready. Is he going to do it? Yeah. I wish I had Lola in my arm. <laughs> Rocky. 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 Yo, man, there's no reason for neither one of us to get hurt in this fight. I'll do my best to carry you. That's nice. Don't cheap shot me. I'll get you out of there. Damn, all right. You can tell some over until it's over. What's that from, in the 80s? Probably in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I think you try a little harder when you're scared. What has worked for me? At least that's what's worked oh, for yeah, me. Hey, don't hit me. I'm guess brittle. it's good. <laughs> I guess it's good. Rocky's a little scared. I honestly have no clue where this is going to go. No, I was just thinking, did you want to come in? It's nice that she, he come brought on. her along. I hope you don't mind. I took it from the restaurant. They're so close right now. Asian. Aw, that's so sweet. Keep you safe. Yeah. Whew. You've been great. Look at his veins. You've got to prove that the last thing to age on somebody is their heart. Oh, that's sweet. It's nice that... kiss on the mouth what the heck that was so casual as though they've done that before i've they never kissed any of my guy friends titles. on the mouth whether he has the heart of a true champion never having been pushed to go the distance nope rocky's been through the distance Hello again. wow look Jim at that crowd holy fuck this does not look like the 70s 80s fights that i've seen in rocky this is so current we have already claimed the victory in our Lord Jesus Christ. I miss his That's old priest. Appreciate. Did he die too? God damn, everyone's dying. Get rid of the damn beast. Let it be done once and for all. Mm. Please, I love you. Oh, that's nice. He's like 90%, 95% an asshole, but 5% an all right person. Holy shit, fake fireworks. Oh no, real. I thought they were just on the screen for a sec. And fire too. What the heck? I'm scared for him. Veteran of the wars, here for one more last hurrah. What if he dies? You can't be serious. The crowd likes it. <laughs>
as long as the crowd likes it. Rocky Balboa just asked me how I'm doing. <laughs> I never thought I'd be calling one of his fights. Yeah, that's Some wild. My gosh. I love how Rocky's song was High Hopes. And then it's just such a contrast right now. He's got such a massive entourage. It's a good choice of song. I mean, hit him in the left and then hit him in the right. It's a fight. It's a fight. Mike Tyson. Oh, shit. It's begun. Oh, man. Rumble. Oh my gosh, he doesn't even have abs. Wow. Lost 23, draw one. That's pretty good. Go Rocky. He's got no armpit hair. I guess that's normal. Oh shit, the tavern's full. Hope you get your head busted. Shit, no loss. Wow. Only one time though, right? One time champion of the world. He looks small compared to Rocky. Aww, his son is here for him. I just love that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Kellerman. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm scared, you guys. At least he's blocking the punches. Oh man. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> I just want Rocky to get some. Yeah, there we go. Oh shit. Oh, they just wanted a hug. <laughs> Oof. Damn. Wow. And Scott bricks in his gloves. Yeah, right. Give him some respect. 59. 59. 69. <laughs> Ooh, missed. Right? If, yeah. Exactly. Ooh. No, no, no. Right back. God damn. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. He's going to get back up. Oh, he's like, oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. Damn it, damn it. Ah! Nine, he got up at nine. Let it go. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Wow. <gasps> oh damn oh oh shit oh my god rocky rocky got lucky there oh his hand got fucked man rocky got so lucky oh shit holy fuck oh, steps <laughs> i love him Oh, shit. Oh, wow. This is amazing. I'm in shock. Creed's up in heaven. Creed and Mickey and Adrian. They're like so proud of him right now. Oh, my God. Hands broken. His arm is broken. Rocky broke his hand. Wow, I love the support. I love it. Ooh, pushed him. I love the editing here. Wow. Wow. <laughs> He's just like looking at him. Like, I'm looking at you. Bomb him. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh no, no! You can do it! You can do it, Rocky. He's doing it for Adrian! Nice! <gasps> Whoa! 
He's just way too small, this Dixon fellow. He's got no abs, barely any muscle, but he's in the heavyweights, so I don't get it. It's 221 pounds. I guess that's heavyweight. I, he's tall. He's tall, so. Ooh. Oh, Mickey. Just flashes of Mickey and flashes of Adrian as well. Oh, Adrian. It's so emotional just seeing those visions of them. Come on, Rock. Come on. Unload on him. Oh. <laughs> I won't say it. Oh, that's good. Had worse at a younger age, though. Definitely not me. Oh, Rob's just looking out for him. <laughs> Poorly. You are my crazy old man. I love that. Cover up, dude. Ooh. Ooh. Why is he doing that? What happened to his arm? I thought it was broken. Ooh, I heard that. Ouch. If he does go down, it's not embarrassing. Yes. Taking his own advice. Oh, getting chills. Rocky, Rocky. <laughs> Yay. Wow. Yes. Go, Rocky. Oh, little Marie. Come on, Rocky. Everyone's chanting his name, not Dixon's. Wow. Wow. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> oh. Oh. I hope this is his last fight. I'm so surprised that he didn't get knocked down throughout that whole thing. How he managed to go the distance at this age. How well he fought. Split decision. It was very close. I don't think he went out in an embarrassing way. And that's why everybody thought would happen. People are still cheering for Rocky. <laughs> And the fact that he did so well, it's, it was almost a tie at this age. And Dixon still won, so Dixon's still happy. He's still the undefeated champion. And Dixon actually got to fight someone that was challenging for him for the first time. Nice. He doesn't, he doesn't care that he's lost because in his eyes, it's a win. Good job, dude. I'm very proud of you. Yo, Adrian, we did it. <laughs> That's what he said to her in the first movie. She would be so proud of you, bud. Hi. This movie disrespected me on a personal level. I'm very, very upset that Adrian wasn't in this film and that Adrian died off screen, by the way. At the same time, I don't think I would have been emotionally able to handle seeing Adrian die and seeing Rocky and Paulie go through all of the motions together because it's so raw and fresh. In this film, it's been like three years since she's passed or something like that. And he still feels like it's very fresh. He got emotional quite a few times in this film over Adrian. And then I got emotional as an empath. I just, when someone cries and I'm invested in them, I just instantly feel their pain. And so I cried. So maybe they did me a favor. I'm just, I'm so torn. I'm so torn about how they did this to me that I almost want to say that I enjoyed Rocky V more than this film. Honestly, Rocky V wasn't bad. I, I don't know why people talk so much smack about that film. This film was good. It was very unexpected because obviously Rocky is older now and I I had no idea he'd step back into the ring and try and get his license back. It was unexpected. It was also a miracle that he did so well in that fight. I was very, very impressed. He took his training really seriously. I think Dixon dropped the ball thinking that he would have the match in the bag. And so potentially he might not have trained as hard as Rocky did. Rocky definitely didn't go down as a loser. He didn't go down embarrassed. It was a fair match. Dixon won, which it was to be expected, but Rocky didn't embarrass himself. If anything, he showed that he's still 
has it because he was quite a challenging opponent for Dixon and that in itself is an achievement for his age and I think everyone can say that if Rocky and Dixon were at the same age and fought against each other during the same era Rocky would absolutely destroy Dixon. Dixon has not really been given a challenge up until this point. He hasn't lost a single round. Everybody he fights, it's just super easy for him. As, as all the matches have been fixed, almost not, not fixed, but they really are just trying to mold a world champion. And the way they do that is by giving him fights that they know that he can win. That's how you mold a world champion in this current age. It seems to be a lot easier, whereas during Rocky's era, it was definitely a lot harder. I found that element to be quite sad. Capitalism has taken over, publicity has taken over. I mean, it was still a thing in the earlier Rocky movies, of course, but I think it's definitely gotten worse in the more recent years. And I'll be interested to see what it's like in the Creed films. This is going to be a very unpopular opinion. You guys are going to 100% disagree with me, but I think I preferred Rocky V more. In my Rocky V review, I said if anything happens to Adrian and Rocky's love, I'm going to riot. I'm going to throw punches. I'm going to be very, very angry. I wasn't even that. I was just so upset. I was so betrayed that they did it off screen. I was so sad that I didn't get to say goodbye to her properly. I didn't know that Rocky V was the last time I was going to see her. It just hurt. It really hurt. And so for that reason alone, I want to say that Rocky V is better than Rocky Balboa. Super unpopular opinion. You guys are going to 100% disagree with me. But for the very moment, that's just how I feel. Maybe it'll take me time to appreciate the Rocky Balboa film more after <laughs> the pain has gone away. But yeah, that's just what I think right now. It sucks that poorly had to live. He's an asshole. <laughs> Let's just, just put it that way. Every time I think he's redeemed himself, he does something else and he says something else. And I'm like, Fuck, it's the same old Paulie. He's what, 70 in this film, still not married. He has admitted that he's treated his sister terribly his whole life. He feels guilty over it. He's lost his job. He's just not a good person. And he got to be in this film. He got to live. And instead, Adrian dies. It just doesn't make sense to me. It hurts. I thought Rocky would be the one to die before Adrian just because of his career and how risky boxing is, but it didn't turn out that way. Rocky's son also was a bit of a disappointment to me. I am glad that Rocky had those heart to hearts with him and he definitely redeemed himself because he was there for his dad and he showed up to his last match. So I'll give credit where credit's due, but for the most part, Robert was definitely annoying in this film and he was quite self-centered as well. I feel like the chat that he had with his dad definitely helped him though. So it was very necessary and hopefully he takes everything that his dad said to heart and he makes some long-term changes for himself because it's easy to make some short-term changes when you first talk to someone in your life who says, hey, this is a problem, I don't like this. But to then keep those positive changes for the long term, that's a different story. So I'll be interested to see what Robert does in the future films and how he acts and behaves and, and everything like that. Rocky was great in this film. I love the Rocky character so much. He's still the same kind, generous, sweet Rocky that has a pure heart and tries his best and is motivational and has grit and is brave. So nothing to fault about the way he was written in this film. It was just some of the things that upset me in this film that I just need to sort of eventually get over and see the film for what it was. Because it was a good film. It was entertaining. I definitely enjoyed myself watching it. It's just how I'm feeling right now. I hope you guys can understand where I'm coming from. Do let me know what you thought of this film after you watched it for the first time and how you reacted to Adrian's off-screen death. I'd be very interested to know how you dealt with it and how you felt right after seeing it for the first time. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really does help my channel out. And of course, you can find the uncut version over on Patreon. The link for that is in the description bar below. You just need a copy of the film so that you can watch it along with me. You can also find all my social media handles, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Discord, Facebook, TikTok, as well as my two other channels, my vlog channel and my gaming channel down below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.